Yay! Good Hello. morning, guys. Good morning, Georgiana. Good Georgiana. morning, Ms. Welcome. <laughs> We're here. Hey, another Thursday. Thursday's going to be so Georgiana. <laughs> and the marvelous Miss Milagros. <laughs> I love this chat. Let me tell you, it just gets more fun every uh, time yeah it's good it's good i feel like it's nice to connect i'm enjoying um our conversations our discussions i love seeing everybody in the comments box so if you're watching be sure to share your name in the chat box say hello or good morning so that we can shout you out <laughs> yes we're here for an, uh, another um chat training information to mingle with you we're live so we take questions we greet you this is like a meeting for all of you so welcome <laughs> yes, yes yes today we've got some cool stuff we're gonna we're gonna talk a little tech Mm -hmm. that's, that's me and then <laughs> Milagos also is going Millie, Millie is talking tech too she's going to be talking about virtual meetings so I'm so proud <laughs> yes good morning Sylvia how are you thank you for joining in <laughs> yes we are going to have a full agenda today and I hope that all of you enjoy have some pencil or pen and paper and write down. And you know, when we talk about things or when I join a training, I like to take notes because it kind of helps me generate ideas and create a, a game plan so that I can put all those ideas and tips into work. Definitely. So everything we share here is not um, rehearsed, it's something that <laughs> that As you can tell. <laughs> a few minutes before our call, we're both very, very busy. And uh, we want to make sure that we keep these calls going for all of you, our teams. And um, also some announcements. Um, Georgiana is having her uh, daily Monday through Friday. Um, video, live videos on her YouTube channel, Georgiana A. H. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna put in the chat so you guys can see it. But yeah, it's open for everyone. We're talking products, tips, um, how to use the product. So it's a good, um, you know, it's kind of a, a good time. We get together, we have discussion so you can join us live you can also catch the replay but it's more fun when you join live because then yes. we can get the conversation going and I I'm am loving it. <laughs> yeah yeah yes. thank you millie's been joining me so i'm so thankful yes. for after there um nita's also been there um mm -hmm. we've got a couple of ladies who have been joining us so i'm so glad to be chatting with you guys and um learning and growing together because that's what yes. it's all about right yes and i'm loving your product reviews um, everything you sh share about the products is like, you know, we need more representatives doing product reviews and you are bringing in makeup application, your reviews, not only for makeup, but for skincare. So mm -hmm. I am so happy to be able to be there with you and learn from you because everyone has just a personal touch of how they use the product how they love it and how you know it, it can generate sales which is what we want for all of you to to have yeah sales yeah. <laughs> and it, uh, it's all products that i use that i love um i, I kind of mix it up it's products that i you know the golden oldies and stuff that i use all the time um, mixed in with some of the new products. So you get a little mixture of both, but you know, I'm just trying to, hey, Suzanne, welcome. Hi, Suzanne, <laughs> welcome, love. Um, but yes, yeah, just sharing. Just sharing. Um, yesterday, I think, was a good one for everyone. Um, if you didn't catch it, go ahead and catch the replay, but I did a room tour. A lot of people ask us about our setup, what programs we use when we're live streaming. So I, I gave you a little bit of a tour of my space and I, um, I also talked a little bit, we had a question come in about programs. So um, the program that we use for this stream, as well as the program that I use for my weekday night live. So join me, 
Weekday yes, night. That was a yeah. magnificent share. It's oh, yeah. how to do videos or technology. You guys, you really have to go to her channel and watch last night's video. A lot of tips on how to do videos and uh, uh, what equipment she uses. She basically gave a whole tour of her bedroom where she has her setup. And it all works fine in a small space. You don't have to have the entire uh, living room or you know part of the house. It can be done in a small space, and it's, it was so well organized. So congratulations and thank you, thank you so thank much you. for sharing. <laughs> My pleasure. It is a question that we get all the time, so I was I was glad to be able to um, just do that for you guys. So I hope it helps you guys. I hope you guys get some ideas. Um, and I hope you guys feel inspired to start doing videos of your own, to feel more comfortable um, with your your tools, the technology, and you know, just getting in front of the camera. It's not, um, it can be scary when you think about it, but a lot of times it's just your own mind because you're gonna be streaming with your friends and family anyway, they know you. So there's nothing to be you know nervous about. Well, you know what else I loved? That even though you show technology and different equipment, you also, a reference how you can start with just a camera and uh, the streaming streaming um yes my first uh, camera <laughs> so i love that <laughs> yes, it's a must must watch hello donna how are you yes it's Welcome, donna. and you know charlie is going to love that she's gonna love her, her daughter she's she does uh, makeup tutorials and um, uh, she's going to get a lot of ideas from uh, Georgiana's setup at home, in her room, not at home, in her room. <laughs> like, wow, amazing. <laughs> I feel like everybody, you know, sometimes people feel like, well, I, I can't because I don't have a, a craft room to designate to this one thing. But I, I live in the city. We don't have spare rooms. <laughs> No. Not where you are. <laughs> Plus, you want to be, you know, you want to be private. You don't want your your whole household. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's nice to just be able to close the door, like I'm streaming, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, and today we are going to um, start, Georgiana. You're gonna start yeah. um, talking about. A great, great topic. I have had a lot of questions about promotions and Georgiana has to. So we are going to show you how easy it is to do the uh, Avon promotions for your customers to gain clientele and how easy it is to, um, you know, to set up the sweepstakes. So um, Georgiana, is going to share all that with all of you. So I am excited to also learn from her. Yay! Yes. I got you guys. So <laughs> like, technology is my wheelhouse. That's sort of where I've become seated. And it's a tool that I use to grow my business all the time. So I love that Avon is giving us another tool that we can use to um, grow our business. And the promo tool is something that I actually, I love, and it's something that I've been asking for for a long time. So when we got it, I was excited because when you have a customer base that's online, when they place orders, sometimes, you know, when you have customers that you're personally delivering to, you could put a sample in, you can do, you know, giveaways with free products or whatever. But when you had my your customer base, as it started to grow online, there wasn't really a way to add anything into their order without sending them a separate shipment in the mail, which wasn't not only time efficient, but it wasn't cost efficient um and you know I, I like that with the promo tools you can do all of that together so um, i'm going to switch over and kind of show you guys the promo tool so when you log into avon now if you're on a desktop you just click on this link you kind of hover over this link that says manage business and then you click this link that says promotion tool and then that's where the promo tool section is where you'll be able to track all of your promotions that you have ongoing and avon has quite a few awesome promotions that um they update every i think it's like every two weeks let me see september mm -hmm. august 31st through september 15th that's like yeah that's about a campaign yeah it's about one to two campaigns yeah. Um, I think this one can't. This one just started. That's why it's here. Um, mm -hmm. 
it's starting as 831. But every time you come in here, I always check to see what new promotions that they have that I can send to my customers. And you can really leverage all of these in different ways for different customers. Um, so right now they have a free bug guard with a $40 order. So that's one free gift with a $40 order. They have the free for a box with the $60 order. So you guys know how we love our A boxes. Yeah. I love this as a gift for new for my customers because it's usually for our cost, it's about $10. Um, for the customer cost, I should say, base price is $10, but the value of the products inside is always so much more. So this is a really nice gift to give a customer. Um, and then they also have free shipping with $40 orders, 10% off a $40 order. And then they even have right now, they have this free gift with any size order. So I like to use these in, in different ways. So I like to um, look at the different ways that I celebrate my customers. First, um, um, having them get that discount if they're placing a $40 order, I might use that for like a birthday gift or um, the free a new vitamin C with any any size order. I think that's what I sent out as my birthday gift for this month. That way, what whenever they purchase something, they'll get something free. Um, a lot of people will ask, well, you know, my customers, they used to like that free shipping that they used to get. So you can still offer that to them. They get that free with their $50 order. Uh, Lisa Johnson says she just did her promo tool offers this morning. Great, Lisa, awesome. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think they're a great way to stay in touch with customers and reward them for good behavior. If you're you know, working to build up your order size, I mean, if I could move between a free mini bug guard with a $40 order up to a free A box for an extra $20, I totally would because I get my eye cream, I get my jewelry, I get um, an eye pencil, and I, you know, mm -hmm. I know I'm getting the value for that purchase plus the actual stuff that I'm buying. So, you know, it makes it worth it. So I like to mix up the offers, but for new customers, I think this is a great way to encourage your new customers to place that first order as well. So in the past, when we were going um, like prospecting, doing field events and meeting people face to face, um, and you can still do this when you're meeting face people face to face, but um, on a digital aspect, okay, I'll do both. So <laughs> if you're meeting a person face to face, you might um, ask them to enter the, your drawing form or you can um, have on your phone, you might exchange contact information and you might say, you know, I'd love to send you a free gift um, when you register as my customer. So you would just send them the link to your website. Um, they would come onto your site. They would click sign in and then click the create account link. So they can do that. And once they're in your address book, then you could you, then use the promo tool to add, you know, search for your customers and add them in. So for my new customers, I like to offer them the 10% off with a $40 order. So when a new customer comes in, I every day I go through and I see who my new customers are and I mail them that I add them to this promo and they get the 10% off with their $40 order. But I let them know when I'm talking to them, you know, if you give me your email, I can send you a promo code. So it's no longer, you know, people just randomly searching online for what the promo code is. In order to get the promotion, they need to be attached to a customer, to a representative. So I love that. Same thing when you're online. I'll actually show you um, my webpage. Can you guys still see this or is it just me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one thing while you while you look it up, one thing I like to add is that when you look at your promo, when it says uh, cost to you, and then you have free, like there's no cost to you for these promotions. So freely give give them away to your customers, but also establish a conversation. You know, send them a text and let them know, like Georgiana mentioned, um, you know, an incentive for them to register as a new customer or if they're established customers let them know i have a great promotion for you this product that you've been wanting to try or the a box i love love the a box because it's uh, 30 dollars or more worth of products that they can try and it's free they don't have to purchase it oh yeah the a box was huge i am so excited that that's there because that's a, a you know that's a good <laughs> yes, yes. wow um, so what I wanted to show you guys as well is I have on my, my blog, bossladies.com, I have a page for my members, for my customers, so that they know the benefits that they get. 
that I offer them. I give them, you know, exclusive offers and discounts because when they shop with the rep, they do get discounts. I do send them birthday stuff. Um, and I do have exclusive, um, there are exclusives that Avon has that are just for them. So I let them know. And I have this um, link here so that when they come, they know they'll get this 10% offer using the code that they registered with in their email. So I have that on my blog. So when people are, you know, looking at my blog, um, looking at my social media, um, when they're searching for me and finding me on the internet, they can see that they can get these discounts when they shop with me or register with me as a customer. So as I'm having my discussions with people on social media, even though it may not be a face-to-face -face opportunity for us to exchange information, um, they can, I can send them either a link to my blog, um, to show my blog page. I've got a lot going on my blog, so I, I'm usually sharing that out. But when they get that, they can also see the other benefits as a customer. So when you're out there and you're talking to people face to face or when you're promoting on social media, let people know that when they register with you um, as a customer, they can also get additional benefits. And then for you as well, what I like to do is at the, um, the start of every campaign, I like to schedule all of my promotion tools to go out because when you are setting up your promo tool, you can choose the date. So you can start setting it up the day before and have it go out the day that it starts. Um, I think all of these promos have already started, but um, you can just schedule it to start the, the following day. So that in the morning, Avon will automatically send out the emails. And it's great because in the past, when I used to do the raffle drawing forms, I'm actually leaning away from doing those because I have a stack, like literally I just put in the closet of um, papers that we we got from events. And every year I would have to, every time we did an event, I would have to transpose those that information into the computer. And you know, sometimes people's handwriting is just <laughs> practically illegible, so it makes it harder, but this way, they can just come into your account and directly enter the information. And I always remind them as well, make sure that you put in your birthday so that we can do um, that. So I can send you a birthday gift. So you'll get their contact information, their email. They'll join the Avon email list so that Avon can send out the different promotions, but they'll also receive the promotions free from you for the free gifts. And the only way that they get those promos is through us as representatives. So if you're not sending them to your customers, they're not getting them. So it, you know, we really have to um, stay on top of that opportunity so that our customers can benefit from these freebies that Avon is offering them for shopping with us. I agree. And we have some hellos. Hello, Xiomara and Maria and Lisa. <laughs> Lisa loves your lipstick. I do too. <laughs> I think this is, this is a color I've been playing with recently. Um, it's the Avon Soft Matte Liquid Lip Color in Resilient. I love it. it your lips are so full. <laughs> Let me put some lipstick on. <laughs> I was looking so like monochrome, monochrome today. I was like, I need a little bit of color. So this is a little bit of like two dots of the Resilient. I would actually do one dot because I ended up blotting some. Yeah. And my vitamin C lip treatment for moisture. <laughs> I'm but loving thank you, Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you for saying hello. Hi, Alice. <laughs> love hello. You. We love you all. Thank you so much. You know, every time you say hello, you make us more happy. So <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cool. Like um, Alice and I had an opportunity to chat. Um, we were introduced through um, Jessica Zeeb, I believe, but we had an opportunity to chat a few years ago. And every time she says hi in the comments, I, I can imagine her whole face. She's so radiant and full of energy. I, I, I can imagine like a virtual hug. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that all everyone here, every Avon lady that I know has that um, glamorous smile. <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> That virtual love, yes. Yeah, so thank you so much, everyone. I'm glad you're all here. And um, Lisa has a comment um, that they offered the uh, share -ish yourself a box. Oh, there's another um, A-box. Yeah. yeah I, think, I think that A-box might have just ended. Um, they try to refresh it. So that A-box might have ended and maybe the free fall A-box is what they have now. Um, let's see. Yeah, when I'm looking, I only see the a, full A box. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's it's um a two week, it's a two week period where where they updates they update their promotions. But take advantage of all this because this is gonna build your your sales, your online sales. Right now, customers are shopping and if they're not shopping with us, then they're going somewhere else. So we want them attached to us for real. <laughs> so another tool that you guys have to help you find new customers is our sweepstakes. And we have a new sweepstakes on now. Um, right now, there are a couple of ways to promote your sweepstakes. What I've done is I've just gone in to edit my, my website so that when the customer scrolls down, the sweepstakes will just kind of live right here in the bottom left corner. And then on the right side, you can use Avon promos. I put um, my latest YouTube video. Um, I got to get my daily videos up there. It's just too much to change it every day. But my my, <laughs> my standard, my, my last like direct upload is there. But when your customers click the sweepstakes, they can enter um, to win this giveaway, you know, they always have a different product. This product, I was blown away. I was like, all this stuff? <laughs> this is <Yeah>. cool. <laughs> so they can enter the win this. All of their contact gets contact information gets entered here. And they can also be they'll also be added to your customer address book when they enter your um, sweepstakes. So you can share the link. You can just click the link and highlight it, copy it at the top, and you can share it to social media or you can share it using Facebook or Twitter. Um, your customers can also share as well. So when they enter, they can also share it on their social media to give their friends and family a chance to enter. So be sure to remind your customers of that added part because mm -hmm. it's a great way for you to get referrals and get in touch with people that you normally wouldn't get in touch with. And then as Malagros always says, follow up. You know, when people register with you as a customer through the sweepstakes, then you could, you know, boom, pair it with your promo tool and then yeah. follow up email. So even if they, they may not be the winner for this particular sweepstakes, but they're always going to get emails of other sweepstakes, sweepstakes, is that a word? Sweepstakes. <laughs> 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 and you can also send them a, 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 a email using the promo tool for 10% off or free gift with their first order. So it's a great way to take the customers get, that you get from your sweepstakes and then convert them into customers or have your customers share that they enter the sweepstakes so that you can grow your customer base. And they can also uh, use this tool under Avon Social. So not only through your Avon now under the uh, uh, business tools, they can also go to um, Avon Social uh, click on sweepstakes and it will you you're be you will be able to share it on your all your pages um, a very nice um, you know picture where customers can go in there and click and it has your information is very well um, instead of just a link you'll be able to have a nice picture that you can share on your pages or uh, you can, um, you know, from your page, you can share uh, any kind of promotion by, um, you know, by messenger, by, oh, yeah. you can also yeah. copy it. Yeah, send okay. it through, you know, WhatsApp. You can also send a text message. It, it's going to go back to your Facebook page and they click on it and then it'll go to um, the steps so that they can register. And, you know, it's, it's a way of having a conversation. Imagine if you have to, um, you know, give away all these products, you know, it's, it's not, yes, that's coffee. I, I have done <laughs> live giveaways. I do live giveaways in my customer group and there is, there is some logistical stuff <laughs> that happens in the background. It's not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you have to mail it, pay for shipping, and or you know do the deliveries, and all of this is pretty much a uh, virtual. It's it's online. It's it's there's no contact. Which right now it's it's something that everyone is gearing to. There's a lot of states that are still going through a lot of issues with, um, you know the 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 virus. So. If, if now you start building these um, tools, by the time that we are all back to normal, you might not have to, um, you know, go back to doing so many deliveries or 
<laughs> yes. Uh, so many things that we used to do. Like I thought at one point that I was a, a delivery <laughs> delivery person. <laughs> I have 10 orders to deliver today. How am I going to find it? It's like, here, bye. Okay, see you later. <laughs> Drop and run. Slingshot. <laughs> so now you have more time to devote on other areas, to build your team, and you know to, to do more promotions. You're at home. So set up some time so you can be in front of the computer, your phone. Um, all of these tools are very much um, usable with any kind of device, your laptop, your tablet, your computer, your phone. So it is friendly with every device. It's just scheduling the time to, to be able to do these. And uh, what I like to do when I set up my day, I have my social media time, I have my promotions time, I have my follow-up times. And all of this takes place uh, consistently every day. So there is no distractions. Like, you know, when, for example, my husband now, he's, he's doing something else. I could have been with him, but I said, I have a full day today. So if I, if I was not organized with my, my, my duties and my business, I would be all over the place. Maybe, um, you know, not being effective or being stressed out because I'm not scheduling my time accordingly. And, um, you know, I just, I just like to know what I'm doing for the day. And this is some of the things that all of you can incorporate into your calendar around your family, around your time, around your kids. If you have small children, you know, when you when they're taking a nap or between homeschooling, um, you know, you you really have to stay focused on what it is that's important with you, with your schedule and, and your the goals for your business. And, and make sure that you keep up with the training because all of these components are essential to having a healthy and profitable business. If you guys were here for our chat last week, I made a bookmark for my planner so we can remember three steps goals schedule and training so that falls into scheduling and like i said these are things that you can schedule with the promo tools you can schedule it ahead of time so that it automatically goes out um and there's something milagro said that i think i can show you guys too if you're texting this out or um posting on your social media and you want to make sure that the image comes up all of the anytime ava has a sweepstakes they always have a little image whether it's a banner image or, um, I like this vertical image because it's easier. Just right click it, click save image as, and then you could download the, the image. If you're on your phone, just press and hold, or you could take a screenshot of it. And then that way, when you text or email it out, you can get this beautiful um, graphic and you can send this with the link. Cause I know when I looked at it, I was like, okay, yes, new sweepstakes. But then I was like, hold up, that's a skin so soft, a bonus size. <laughs> Lotion. And I was like, this is, this is a lot of stuff here. So that visual aspect, like Milagro said, the pictures are eye catching. So when you're, when you're sharing things, don't just share the link, share the, the picture as well. And even on Pinterest, like uh, for all of you that are on Pinterest, resize your pictures. And even if you have, cause the, the Pinterest uh, format is, is long. So even if you have a, a picture that's long and a space in the bottom, just uh, add your promotion, you know, register for my sweep, sweepstakes, click on it. And then that in the picture, um, you're able to embed the, uh, the website, your, you know, the link to your sweepstakes. So when people click on the pictures, it directs them exactly into their, into your sweepstakes and your website. Yeah. So, you know, work with different social medias. Um, you know, I, I like Facebook. That's my primary. Georgiana uh, loves Instagram. And um, I also love you, YouTube and um, Pinterest. So I, I kind of mingle all these social medias because people have different ways of communication. So if you are able to put your message, your little, your little um, you know, seeds out into different channels, then people uh, different people are going to be able to find you. And remember, the things that you do and the people who join your team are going to duplicate the same thing that you do. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're social media savvy, if you're posting in different uh, social groups, um, you know, di different social channels or platforms, and you find them, you might find a person who knows even more than you and is able to take that business online to the next level. So besides uh, just going face to face and, and just reaching out to what we already have, start networking out, outside your channel, start networking for new people and start being a little bit more creative with the tools that we have on Avon Social that's gonna allow you to just, um, you know, bring in new clientele, bring in new team members, which is, what, uh, you know, the base of our business. We sell and we recruit, we build a team, we develop a team, we sell products. So all of that is part of having a healthy and successful network marketing business. Yeah, I agree. One of the reasons that I love this, um, that we have these opportunities to do promotions, to mail a free gift to customers all over the US or do this, um, the sweepstakes, we can find new customers all over the US, is that your customer moves from, that your business moves from just being a local business to really being a, a national business. You get more opportunity to reach out and connect with a larger variety of customers. Um, it, it's through online, having this online website that I'm able to have customers in California, in Texas, and Rhode Island. There are places that I can't physically deliver to. Like, could you? It's hard to schedule local deliveries <laughs> much more. National deliveries. I can't drive to California and come back. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. So this is a great way to, for you to really build a business that is is gonna have longevity because your customers are gonna be, you know, more um, more in different areas. So you'll have more customers spread across a larger area it'll be better for, you know, the stability of your business. Yes. And, uh, you know, we, we, um, Eugenia showed you, um, vaguely because it's so easy to set it up. Like, I mean, anyone with no computer skills is able to just follow the steps. And in a few minutes, even in this, it does not need a lot of bandwidth. A lot of people ask me, a lot of my team members ask me, my computer is slow. You don't need a lot of bandwidth. Just, you know, be able to see, there you are. I mean, it's it's just step one, two, three, and add them out. Yes, it's that simple. Don't make it intimidated. Don't think that, that um, you know, that the internet or, or the digital world is, is so complicated. It's not, Avon has made it so simple. And they have invested millions, not thousands, millions of dollars just giving us these tools that I, I mean, I don't see a lot of direct sales companies out there investing this kind of, no, non-existent. Yes, most, most direct sales companies that the representatives have to reinvent that, I mean, what they have invested in this, um, tool in this platform, the training, um, if yes, the group, um, uh, what is it? Um, social selling by Avon, uh, social selling by Avon Social. That's a, a group with Scott Kramer and the uh, multi brains. They have a lot of live step by step videos on how you can, um, you know, learn how to get social on all these platforms. Yeah, and even though we're moving away from Avon Social, um, and you know, there's that transition happening, the Facebook group is gonna still be around. So all of those archive videos will still be there. So you can still go back and watch. So when you're getting started with this stuff, if you feel like you get stuck, you can always just go back and watch the video. So the important thing is to kind of get dip your toe into the water, look. I know that I kind of say, okay, I'm the tech person. And Millie will say, okay, it's a tech thing. Let Georgie, you know, ask her, she'll explain. Um, yeah, but I only can do that because I've tried things myself. I, I practice with things. I figure it out on my own. Whenever Avon, like the minute Avon says, we're going to be doing something new. I'm on the computer like, okay, what is it? What are we doing? What, what is it going to look like? You don't want to wait until, um, 
like when we did the transition to Avon 2.0, you don't you don't want to be one year in and then just trying to figure out how to use it. Get on it ahead of time because Avon always gives us warning. Right now, we know we're going to be moving away from Avon Social. So now we're learning to use these tools for the promo tool, how to share the sweepstakes on our own so that we can leverage um, this time to figure out how to do these things so that when Avon Social is no more, we already know what to do and we're not like caught out in the cold. So mm -hmm. use this time. Matter of fact, I think um, maybe Saturday because I don't have a live on Saturday. Uh, I could, maybe I'll do another live um showing you how I do my social scheduling outside of Avon Social. Um, that would be great because I rely on Avon Social. So if if that's something that we might not have, then uh, I'm sure they're going to have another tool for all of us to, to be able to use. That's yes. why I didn't, I haven't really said anything. Um, to be honest with you, I've moved away from Avon Social for, I think in January. It just, <laughs> I, I loved it. And I love what it did, but I needed like half an inch more. <laughs> so I always, I'm always that person who's like, this is great, but I need a little more. <laughs> I, really, I, I need to have dessert with everything. But, um, you give me a meal, I want a slice of cake. But um, I totally get it. <laughs> I think I'll do that video. If, if they do come up with something, then um, we'll just use what, you know, we'll transition back to what yeah. they have. But I think I could do a video. Okay. So I'll schedule something and, and, I'll post it here. <laughs> another thing that I want to also mention is that give yourself time for things to work because a lot of you just post once and and or send out a promotion and you say, oh, it didn't work. Believe me, this is a, con a consistent, consistent way. This You have to be consistent to build your online presence. And it gets addictive as you start getting online orders, as you start getting uh, people liking your posts, just be creative and incorporate some of your touch into everything that you post. Yeah, that's a huge point. I think, um, I can't remember the name of the woman, but there was someone speaking at, at, during the virtual visionaries conference. And she said, you know, it's taken her three years to, to build up her business. But now she's like, I don't, I think she's either one or number two for um, direct sales. Online sales, yeah. Yeah, so, um, you know, it, it does take time. This is definitely not, it's just like the business, you know, mm -hmm. this is building a business, but it's building it online. So it does take time to do. So don't sleep on it. Get to it, like Malandra said, schedule it in your calendar. Every campaign, every day, well, you should really be posting every day. Um, yes. But because you can schedule, you don't, you're, you don't have to be on social media every day. I know if I had to be, I just, it's too much of a time suck. So I, I schedule a lot. Um, but yeah. You, you were one of the ones that told me, you can schedule everything. <laughs> YouTube videos. Not my whole life. <laughs> A whole when you, week going out. When you wear many hats and, um, you know, for me, it was learning. I, I've been scheduling, like I said, before Avon Social. And then um, after Avon Social, I found that different program that I was using. But because I work, I was working full time and doing Avon. And then like last year, also doing the plans for um, fixing my house, it got really overwhelming. So having things scheduled ahead of time was the only way that it would get done. <laughs> I totally get it. <laughs> and I see some comments in the chat. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Glad you're here. And um, thank you so much, Yomara. Yes, we, it's important to be organized. I am glad that this is helping all of you. Um, and Alice has a question, and um, that's a Georgiana question. <laughs> so Alice wants to know if we suggest um, sending a promo to all customers or a select group. Amazing question, Miss yes. Alice, first of all. So um, again, it varies for everybody, but I'll tell you what I do. I do send a promo to all of my customers, but then I have different promos that I send to specific groups. So like I said, um, for example, the 10% off is just like my standard for all of my new customers. So when my customers register with me, automatically I send out that 10% off. Um, at the beginning of a campaign, when they launch a new, um, like it's usually a free gift with a $60 order, I send that out. 
Um, but they also have this month that free bug guard with the $40 order. So um, I'm, I sent that out as well. So I also have the birthday one. So for, um, no, I think what I did was for the, the bug guard with the $40 order, I sent to people who were celebrating an anniversary who have been shopping with me for a certain amount of time. And then for the birthday, I sent the free gift which is the new vitamin C travel size. So I mix it up. Everybody gets um, one promo and then to sort of um, celebrate or reward specific groups of customers, then I send different promos. So one customer could theoretically have all four promos, but the average customer will just have one or two just to make it special. Cause you know, if, if I sent everybody the same promos and the people who had a birthday wouldn't feel as special. So I want to, you know, I like to do things like that to kind of add a little. Yeah. That makes that makes sense. And and sending, I love I love what you shared the uh, the free um, product with a forty dollar order for your birthdays, uh, mm -hmm. anniversaries. You know that's that's something that is it's a it's a product that they're gonna try. You know with 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 an order. So yeah. yes, I love that. I'm taking that idea. <laughs> Have fun with it. Yeah, at the end of the day, this is your business. So run it the way you want, of course. Um, but also think of your, you know, if you're a customer, I know there are companies that I shop with every year for my birthday, they send me like, I don't know, whatever percentage off or a free gift with my order. And I look out for those things. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have your stores that you registered for that, you know, when your birthday month is coming, <laughs> whether it's a free waffle or a free t-shirt. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's the same with, um, with my customers. And I, I like always, I recommend putting a little note to personalize it. Um, so for the birthday people, I'll put, you know, a little birdie told me that somebody's celebrating a birthday or, you know, I just want to shout you out. And then on my live stream as well, um, since I started the live streams this month, when I get together with, um, you guys at eight o'clock, I also make sure I have a time where, um, before I do the live stream, I go through my customers' birthdays. I see if anybody had a, a birthday that day, and then I shout them out during the live stream. I have little balloons and a little um happy times so that we can celebrate them as well but you know it, i know when when i get that i feel good so i try to just reciprocate that for my customers yes we understand donna it's there's always a replay thank you so much i really appreciate all your comments and lisa yes yomara everything it's i i love it that because, you know, we tend to just do everything like really fast. Oh, let me send this to everybody. And then the next day, you know, the next campaign, you send it to everybody. And it just gets, um, you know, personalized. Oh, for all. Yeah. yeah. You can you can write a message right there. You know, when you're sending it out, say, hey, hi, how are you? You can send it individually. I thought about you. So, um, um, you know, I, I want to send you this offer. I love it. I know you're a skincare fan and you're able to see what the customers have ordered through the uh, ordering history so if you have a bug guard um, customer then you can identify that if you have a skincare customer or a makeup customer you can identify that and then send them those offers yeah and um you know use it as an opportunity to separate yourself because if avon i, I remember in the past when all that when we didn't have an opportunity to speak to our customers through the emails and it was all sort of generic emails, mm -hmm. they went out to the customer. But now that I get a chance to put a little message at the bottom, a lot of my customers that I've never spoken to because they were just online customers, a lot of them will take the time to reply like, oh, you know, I just got, I got that sample you sent me. And now all of a sudden it's not just like, I got a sample. It's the sample that you sent me. So we, we have that connection. Uh, you know, they might reply and say thank you. Uh, sometimes it's through a Facebook message. Sometimes it's through um, an email. But they read those. So it's a great way also for you to introduce them. I, um, I'll use the notes to add a link to my Facebook group for my customers or to my, my YouTube videos so that they can see what's happening so that they, could, they get the chance to become a part of the community. So it's, it's your way to invite them. That's another great tip. Um, if you're doing uh, product promotions like Georgiana has been doing on her YouTube channel, you, you really have to watch what she's doing. And also get ideas from her comments because she adds 
the product link so that uh, the customers can uh, shop. And um, she also references everything that she talks about in her YouTube video. She takes the time to post the links. And, you know, the more content you add, the more original you get with uh, what you share, that's what's going to give you the, um, the, um, the results. Yeah. Great point, Lucy Almada. It does make people feel special. And yeah. that's the business we're in. Like, it's not just selling stuff it's it's helping customers find products to suit their their wants their desires their dreams helping representatives make the income that they need to reach their dreams and goals it's all about helping people and connecting with people and i mean i'm an introvert i'm not good at those one-on-one -on -one phone calls but facebook youtube that's how i i communicate so leverage we were talking earlier about um the fascination advantage working doing what you do best as opposed to trying to do what other people do find what it is that you do best and leverage that towards you take this and make it your own yes everyone has a gift so yeah, yeah. so i hope this helped you i hope this segment helped you we're going to talk about um virtual um the the virtual meetings and then at the end georgiana is going to share the uh, making strides so that's that's um something that we're we want to also put out but let's talk about the virtual uh, meetings you have the go to meetings um it's available for all the representatives it's uh 12.99 a year through the avon perks so that's a tool that's very inexpensive. You can also use uh, Zoom. Um, with Zoom, you have 45 minutes. Zoom is free, but you have 45 minutes to be able to, um, you know, to to complete your meeting, which is you know very good. But um, the go to meeting you can take as long as you want. Georgiana is pulling it up in the screen. Uh, Avon made a great, great offer deal with go to meeting and you can basically it's so easy to do look at that it's oh it's night is it 19 19 dollars or 12 mm -hmm. it's 19 dollars okay for the whole year yes nineteen twenty. i don't know where i got the 12 okay. night 12.99 <laughs> are you supposed to dollars off <laughs> maybe i i um inverted. i wish <laughs> <laughs> a few dollars off. 1920, you guys. You can't beat that price. Uh, you also have StreamYard, which is the platform that we're using and is totally free. <laughs> yes. Stream to the Yard. left of Milagros's head. <laughs> <laughs> you got here over right here. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, all these tools are absolutely free. And then you're you'll be able to host any meeting. Um, so you know that I am big in meetings and why am I big in meetings and trainings? First of all, that's one of the, the most important things that I have ever done in my business was train, 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 train. Um, you know, besides the other two that we mentioned, the goal setting, the scheduling, but something that I'm huge is training. Why? Because when you train, you're developing, you're duplicating what you do. Yeah. So for many, many years, I hosted meetings here at my house, not once a month, not twice a week, and not, not uh, every two weeks, but every week I had my Stay Connected meetings for years, over 10 years. As a matter of fact, I built a training room right here at my house where i can have my team come over and train with me but before i used to pay i used to pay for hotels um i used to have meetings at restaurants for me that connection with your team and i'm very passionate about that so for those of you who have a team for those of you who want to build your network marketing um business your um you know, your leadership business, you must, you must have 
some kind of training. You must have some kind of connection with your team. So I, I you know, when all of this happened, I was like, what am I going to do? I don't have meetings anymore. But you know what? Most people just lay there and wait for things to happen. And they just consume themselves with the negative thoughts. It's never going to be the same. My business is going down. And they're just not going to do anything about it. <laughs> or complain, okay? So I said... That's I'm not like, this community yeah. here. <laughs> That's not me at all. So I had to learn new ways, new technology, new ways to... Um, you know, be able to make myself available to my team. And that's what it's all about. You're not looking for, you got to be at the meeting. You're not looking for, if you're not at the meeting, no. You send out your links, you send out your meetings, whether you do them once a month, every two weeks, or weekly like I do. I do my weekly meetings. I just started them. But before I was doing one-on-one, but I wanted to involve my entire team. So all of this has been a combination of things that I have been doing virtually who led me to just you know, work on this, to have my weekly meetings virtually and invite my entire team. Your entire team will not show up to your meeting, so don't be afraid. <laughs> and if it gets that overwhelming, then you can mute everybody and you can host your meeting and then you can take questions and all of you are there in a room virtually just connecting with each other. So I'm gonna give you some of the ideas that I have implemented through all of this so that you, know, you if you have a small teams, then start with what you have, okay? Invite everybody, make yourself available for your team. So send out the link, invite them. It, it might be slow at the beginning, but you're gonna start building your audience and they're gonna start coming into your meeting. But even if you don't, if you're by yourself, look, my, uh, my English meetings are always a great turnout. My meetings in English are a great, great turnout. My Spanish uh, meetings, it's, they're not. So with my Spanish meetings, I'm by myself. But I want to be there in that room waiting for the first five minutes for them to arrive. And when they don't arrive, that's for my Spanish meetings, okay? And that, that could apply to you who have small, a small um, team or you are not getting the attendance. This is a great way for you to not give up doing this. Because if you're able to reach to one person, one person a week or every two weeks, whenever you host your meetings, your meeting is worth it. So what I do, I do not record the meetings where I actually have um, my team members because I want to give them my privacy. I want to give them. I want to give them their privacy. I want to be able to connect with them, and I want them to talk to me in a private setting. But when I am hosting a meeting where there is no one in the room, the meeting room, then I record. So the topic that I that I do in English, I do it in Spanish, the same topic, but it's also a way for me to just, you know, get to know them. Like at my last meeting, I had one person that was I didn't even know total a, a totally new person. So you know, I I I connected with her. Now we're texting. Now we're uh, sharing ideas. Where before she didn't uh, used to have any connection with me. And this this representative has been with the company and on my team for twenty years. So imagine that for twenty years. She has, and she's from New Jersey. I'm from Florida. So we, she was not able to come to our meetings um, here locally. So this is just an example that I'm giving you. I'm, I'm telling you to make yourself available for your team so that you are a leader who is representing and who is supporting their team 
through these kind of meetings. So now that we are virtual, my business is changing completely. I, I probably will not host any more face-to-face -face meetings here at my house. Um, what my direction is to, to continue to do these meetings and for them to be with me training every week. And I'm very structured with my trainings. I give them a lot of great information. And then um, another thing that, that I like to do is that when they are um, asking questions and I see that they need a little bit more in-depth then I schedule a one-on-one, -on -one, virtual one-on-one, -on -one, where I can be with that person and I can explain more uh, on how to do certain things. So that is my tip. I hope that you guys take charge of your business, your team, and that you don't feel like my team is not attending the meetings. Well, guess what? If they're not, just record yourself talking about the topic, send it to them and let them know this is last meeting. Um, you know, it, it, it was recorded and I hope that you take advantage of this training. Join me again this day for another topic and then share your topic and you will see that that uh, consistency is going to start building your virtual meetings, which is the direction that the whole situation is, is going to, um, you know, is taking us. So. Um, those are some good points. So I took notes because I think we all struggle with that because for me, meetings and trainings have been super important to growing the business, my bit personal business. So. For me, I look at it, it's like school, you know, nobody's in, in my profession, nobody's gonna let me just do stuff without me having the training. You don't want someone who doesn't know what they're doing to build your house. <laughs> you just don't. So I, I looked at this business and I said, you know, if I'm gonna be successful in this business, I need to train and educate myself. So for me, meetings and trainings have been a huge, huge part of my business. And I, you know, I always kind of have to laugh because everybody wants to ask, you know, how do you get to where you are? How do you, you know, how do you move up in the business? How do you grow? How do you be successful? How do you find customers? How do you build? And it's like, there's a training for that. Yes. There are so many <laughs> trainings, but you got to attend. So um, I think, I, it, thank you, Millie, for sharing those tips for the meetings because they are super important. And um. I also made the transition to virtual meetings. I stopped hosting in-person meetings because not only was it a huge um, like time suck because you had to commute um, here in the city. Some of my my team, even my local teammates, some of them would have to commute forty five minutes, sometimes an hour and a half to get to the meeting. You know, to and from the meeting, and that's time that they could better invest into actually building their business. So with the virtual meeting, you come and you sit down, you get your training, and you go. That hour you know, becomes, you know, hour both ways is two hours that you can actually mm -hmm. practice, you know, reinventing, reinvesting into your business. So I like that we're moving more towards mm -hmm. virtual. And I am going to be the person to bring up the elephant in the room. The one thing that people always say is, oh, well, you know, when you don't have the in-person meetings, you don't get that personal connection. Let me tell you, first of all, Millie and I are Millie's in Florida, I'm in New York City. We get together with you guys every Thursday morning. This is how we connect mm -hmm. as leaders. Um, I, I also partner and talk to representatives. I have like friend representatives in California, in Ohio, in Maryland, in Texas. You know, we're all in different states. We're all on different teams. We all connect and encourage each mm -hmm. other, um, but we're all from different states. We couldn't physically get together. And these are the ladies that, you know, when I'm feeling down or when I'm feeling frustrated, um, these are the ladies who reach out to me. I mean, I can't tell you this past year how many Avon, I call them Avon family because they're like my brothers and sisters in Avon, who reached out to me by Facebook Messenger or phone or text to just see how I'm doing as a person. I mean, you want to talk about building relationships, mm -hmm. you know, just to, to reach out to a friend and see how they're doing. That's what a friendship and a relationship is about. So you can't tell me that you can't build <laughs> relationships virtually. A lot of you ladies I have never met in person. Miss Alice, mm -hmm. I don't think we've ever physically met in person. <laughs> we've done video chats together, but I consider, like I said earlier, like I can hear in Miss Alice's voice when she types a message, her energy and her excitement. And Jessica, Zayamara, you ladies who are on Lisa sharing tips, you guys have become my Avon friends. A lot of you we've never met. 
So yes. let's throw that baby out with the bathwater because you know that whole idea of you, you don't get to build a relationship. Mm. That's a that's a shackle that you have to take off of your own mindset. If you come into a meeting and you play to win, you're there. I mean, sometimes I don't want to be on video either, but you know, if you're if you get dressed up and if you show up or if you can't be on video but you're still active either through voice or chat, chat. If I can't be in the video, I make sure that I do the chat. Because for me, mentally, it's how I get engaged by conversing. Mm -hmm. I, you know, if I can um, message according to what's happening in the chat, I know I'm engaged. If yeah. I'm away from my, my phone and doing something else, then I'm not engaged in the chat. I'm not playing full on. So make up your mind to show up 100%, mm -hmm. engage, and get connected to the people that are on the live. I love how you guys are chatting, but when mm -hmm. we encourage you guys to join the conversation, it's not just so that we have something to talk about. Me and Milagros don't need extra stuff to talk about. We will go on. <laughs> yeah, and we have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a so lot of fun. It's building the community, but it gets you engaged. It brings you back to where you are. So um, I saw a comment that I wanted to, comment on it. Oh, I think it was Lisa. Yes. Lisa said she paid for the meetings, but she's intimidated to begin because she's an introvert. Okay. From one introvert to another. Just do, it. <laughs> do it afraid. Lisa, you put it this way. Us introverts don't like to waste money. <laughs> you spent that money already. Use it because you know, <laughs> that one year is going to be up. I love it. And your money's going to be gone. So use it. Schedule one-on-ones. Schedule the meetings. I love that Milagro said, you know, even if no one shows up, record it and put it out there anyway. I struggle with that as well. So, you know, just 100% transparency. Zayamata, we did meet in New Orleans. Yes, you were right. But we had already become friends on Facebook. So it was like, you know, yes. build that relationship online so that when you do meet, I've had teammates. Didn't know them, but we met at conference. But we built the relationship up through the phone. So... Um, Lisa, I encourage you to just do it afraid, get on there, schedule it, put it out there, make it happen. And if no one shows up, turn it into a training, turn yeah. it into a practice run, record it, watch it back yourself and learn from, um, you know, things that you're saying, watch your own videos and learn from them so that you could do them better next time. And you know what is um, like I paid, I had to share this with you. I use on other live streams like StreamYard um, and Facebook Lives and YouTube Lives. Um, I, I paid for this because it's, it's a much easier way to share a link and everybody's in one room. Um, I paid for it and, and I didn't use it for a few months. So, you know, a few months could have been a year so I can understand that once you're like, okay, I pay for it. That's the first step. What do I do next? Okay. Um, you know what? Just do it. And and if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable teaching a subject, you know what? Just be there in a the room with them. Just be there present. Hey, you know, I just wanted to um, you know, see you all. I wanted to see your face. I wanted to connect with you. Let's have a little fun. Let's talk about you know each other, and then just mention each other. And uh, another thing that I like to do, um, I take a picture of everyone who's in the in in the chat in the room, and I tell them I <laughs> <laughs> I put it in in our private group, and then I tell them um, I mention all of them, and I said uh, friend each other, you know, click on each other's link on each other's name and friend each other because we already established such an amazing relationship everybody shared how many years they've been with avon what they do and you know i'm and and everybody's just so friendly in that room that it it's it's going to build a different um relationship uh you know you're going to start meeting they're going to start meeting other representatives and they're going to be able to relate to each other and and, and, you know, maybe create a friendship because they will be able to relate to each other. So I always uh, recommend, hey, after you guys do this, um, uh, you know, ladies do this, I, I, I want to be able to all of you to friend each other on Facebook. And then you're going to find people who are not friends with you, representatives who are not friends with you on Facebook. But now you have them because they came up in the uh in the meeting and then you know you have an opportunity to have another connection with that person so it's totally totally worth it so start them yeah 
you never know who you're going to click with. And again, full transparency, I will tell you guys, this is not like a shining moment of my life, but it's true. The reason I actually started doing Facebook Lives was because I was having meetings that my team wasn't attending. So I said, well, instead of me just sitting here waiting, I'm still going to go live. I'm going to share the information and training or whatever that I wanted to share. I'm going to make it public. So that's how I actually started doing my Facebook Lives. It wasn't my goal wasn't, OK, you know, I want to I don't know what people's goals are. Um, clickbait. It, you know, I wasn't trying to just um, get clicks or likes on my Facebook. It was because I, I wanted I had information that I thought people could benefit from. And I said I could hold it in or and, you know, or just sit and be frustrated or I could share it. So I, I that's how I, I started. And I wasn't comfortable public speaking. I wasn't comfortable. I, I speak really fast. So it's, I, I mentally have to make that adjustment when I'm live streaming to slow down. Sometimes it doesn't always work, but it's a working progress. <laughs> but that practice came through me practicing with live. So now I can get in and sit down in front of the computer and do a live stream because um, of all that time that I spent doing those videos. So you never know. Sometimes, you know, my mom always says one door closes and another door opens. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not working out the way you want. And this is, you know, me learning. Thank you, Milagros. <laughs> for, for like, it's like getting to me sideways. But, it, you know, sometimes you get, you might feel some way because what you planned didn't work out, but it turns into something else. One of my mm -hmm. biggest YouTube videos is how to put together a, um, a, um, I used to do these little parties. Um, like an Avon party. Um, and at one of my events, everybody was late. So I was just sitting there. I had everything laid out. Again, not a shining moment in my life, but I had you know, decorated the table and everything was laid out and nobody was there. And I was like, well, I rented this space. I might as well turn it into a video. And I, I, I used that video to kind of show my display, what products I use, how I set things out. It was one of my most popular videos on YouTube, but it came out of this uh, you know this time when nobody was showing up to an event people ended up coming later on but at, at the moment i was like should i just pack up and go home it's a good thing i didn't <laughs> don't yeah. be intimidated lisa and anybody else who's watching yes that is so awesome thank you so much and and um Thank you so much for sharing that. And I think that one of the biggest things for leaders to start a team, because I, I am working with with a new leader in, in Spanish, and she's having a tough time getting her team into the Zoom meetings. And, um, and I always tell her, don't worry about it. And then we end up doing uh, videos between me and her. But then uh, she, she tells me, uh, should I stop the meeting? And say, no, you're not stopping the meetings. Those are every Wednesdays are 6 p.m. Those are your meetings. And I am always going to be there with you. So, you know, whether you are by yourself or whether you, um, you know, you have a small group, just work consistently with that and don't give up. Okay. Lisa, <laughs> we've met. <laughs> <laughs> awesome okay i'm so, i apologize rep fest is kind of it's a blur sometimes so i apologize mm -hmm. but online at food i know who you are now but yeah guys um another thing that i just thought of was at the very least you could have it as like a um open forum or open office like off mm -hmm. open office hours um where you're making yourself available online so that mm -hmm. if somebody does have a question, they could come in and ask you. I, I, I think that might be the direction that I go in because for me, sometimes I'm like, I planned out a whole training, but, and I have no way to give it to, but I think mm -hmm. I might, like Malagro said, record that training to play for later, but also keep the open office hours so that if by chance somebody has a meeting, you know, going back to that physical mindset, when we used to have a physical location, if people knew who where you are at specific times, then they could pop in according to their schedule. Maybe they're not able to make it every week, but if they find that they're off from work one day, they could come in. That's how I picked up my business when I, you know, I, I joined Avon and I kind of worked it as a side thing for a long time. But then when I realized that I needed that extra income, I was able to kind of tap into the meetings because I knew what day they were, what time they were and where they were. 
So I was able, even though I was disconnected before that, I was able to make that change and say, okay, you know what? I know they have these meetings. I'm going to start going. And that's how I was able to get myself going in the business again. So yes, create a routine and just be there. Yes. I remember that you can't make someone work. You can't make someone show up. Um, you can make yourself work, make yourself show up. So you are responsible for your actions and what you do, but not for everybody else. So don't try to change a person that is not responding to what, what you're offering. Continue to do your work, continue to do the right things as a leader, find new team members, don't give up uh, recruiting, always work with the new representatives and Focus on them because they deserve your attention while they're getting started. And you're always going to have people to work with if you continue to recruit, if you continue to add new team members. So don't forget that. And it's also going to build your enthusiasm because when you get to a point when you have built a big team and then your team is not basically responding to your trainings and invitations, then that gets to be a motivating so what do you do? Do you quit? No, you keep recruiting. You keep finding your new ones and you continue to do your job. The job you have done for many years, you you will continue to do that. And that's what's going to bring you the success. Good points. Good points. Well, I so think that's it for us. We're going to close with, the, uh, with uh, making strides. If you want to just briefly, so I know we have gone over uh, over an hour, but I think we share a lot with you guys. I think I just closed um, the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, um, I can show it to you guys. Um, so yeah, today is Think Pink Thursday. So if you don't know, I have been um, doing my live streams every evening at 8 p.m., weekday evening. Um, but today's a special day because I am going to be designating Thursdays as my fundraiser day. So, um, join me tonight but also i wanted to show you guys that we are you know as a company avon fundraising for the breast cancer walk so for well it's not a walk this year but it's a the breast cancer awareness and breast cancer fundraising so you guys can go over to the american cancer society and you can partner with the avon team so that you can fundraise and you can join the fundraising i've made my page you can have a page for yourself. They're actually really easy to set up and they walk you through step by step so that you can create a page of your own and you know customize it for your fundraiser. So I wanna encourage everyone to just take some time to do that so that you can have your page going as well. Um, and you can you know join with us to help fundraise for this cause. Avon has a goal for how much they wanna raise nationally. Um, so we're, we're partnering with the company to help with the fundraising, but, um, also join me cause I'm going to be showing products mm -hmm. and, you know, doing some fun stuff on Thursdays. Every Thursday at eight is the, um, is pink Thursday. So we're going to be talking about the, the cause and bringing up awareness. I love it. Do you want to share your making strides, um, uh, link in case someone uh, who yes. does not have a team, if you don't have a team or you have not created your page or not thinking about not doing it, you can go to Georgiana's link and, um, donate. So that's, that's another option. And also, um, I just want you to know that it's, it's so easy to set up and, and it's, it's going to, um, you know, you're going to be able to reach out a different audience, different, uh, you know, people, customers. And um, just know that uh, right now, if you donate uh, or someone donates a minimum of $35, you'll get, you will get um, a making strikes bag, beautiful uh, tote bag that, um, um, you know, just for having a donation of $35 minimum, uh, it has to be posted in your Strides page by September 14 um, by noon. So make sure that you get into uh, creating your page and um, publicizing your page and that link you can just share with everyone you know, talk to your customers to donate. It's a, for a great cause. 
you can either have a team um, making strides page or you can have your own personal um, strides page um, like Georgiana is sharing. So I hope that everyone um, gets motivated and starts yeah. contributing and, and getting into the making strides against breast cancer. Yeah, even though we're not doing a walk this year, we definitely want to get ourselves behind this cause because it is such an amazing cause. Um, and they do great things within the community, with you know, within research and development. So it's something that we, you know, need to be more intentional about. So um, you can hop on over to my Facebook page as well. I have all the different ways that you can donate. And as representatives, Avon also donates a percentage of the commission from some of the, the pink products that we have in our shop. So 15%, every, yeah. 15 per, that's a lot. I mean, I'm seeing commercials for people who are like, we'll donate $2 or we'll donate 5%. And I'm like, uh-uh, Avon is donating 15%. 15. <laughs> that's, that's outrageous. And, and you know, uh, if you look at the products, it's not overpriced either. The, it's the same. So... I mean, it's it's like this very little margin of what they're earning with these products, and and we also earn our commissions. So these are not products that we're not earning commissions. So yeah, so um yeah, so check it out. Um, I've got the links on my Facebook page. So hop on over. I have my I have a fundraiser going for Avon for American Cancer Society. I have an Avon fundraiser. Plus, I have my Making Strides page, and I'm doing our Thursday Live. So um, join me. <laughs> uh, Lisa, <laughs> her, her mom is a survivor. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. You know, if that cause is dear to your heart, Lisa, you, I mean, why don't you set up just a room for uh, your mom? And, and maybe she knows other mm -hmm. friends who are survivors. And just have a, a virtual party there with them and, and maybe do some, you know, little giveaways with them just to make them feel good. Have your own walk virtually. Um, yeah. Get all pinked out. I forgot my glasses. <laughs> she was <laughs> great. <laughs> yes, that could be something. I, you know, it's, it's good. It's good to do things that, that help other people and i'm sure your mom will feel like um so proud of you yeah. you know yeah all right guys thank you so much for sharing i appreciate all of you guys thank you guys for joining um and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys tonight at 8 p.m yes thank you all for joining yes Bye. thank you all girls <laughs> thank you georgiana <laughs>